YouTube world, what's going on? It's your dude Heat. Today I have another discussion video. This one's actually a bit of a follow up to my last video called Exposed, where I just talk about the sneaker game and sneaker culture and what I think it's really all about. And this is also a bit of a overlap in a sense with one of T Blake's videos. T Blake is another sneaker YouTuber you probably wear very familiar with him, sorry. And uh, he doesn't know I exist, that's cool. But, um, you know, maybe he checks out this video, in which case, what up, man? Love your videos. Now, he kind of went over what sneakerheads are about these days and kind of the transitions we've made um, with sneaker YouTubers as well since, you know, maybe three or four or five years ago to today. And I guess what I want to outline is a little bit of that, but also kind of why I think the whole, like, being a sneakerhead is uh, is actually kind of lame. I apologize in advance actually for using that word lame. Um, it is It can be offensive, uh, but I did include it because I feel like you guys understand the tone in which I'm using it. Uh, I just want to put that out there. Now where the game and the culture is now um, has definitely kind of changed the way I feel about collecting shoes. Um, I, I, I find it interesting that five or ten or whatever years ago when I you know when I was collecting at least around 2007 2006 it was all about having a pretty wide diverse uh, collection of you know sneakers that you just liked and sneakers that meant something to you and we all had our stories about the shoe so I remember like seeing a couple friends and even reading forums for instance and people would say I love this shoe because or I grew up with this shoe or this is the first shoe I wore to a basketball game well, my father bought me this when I was 10 years old. Now, there's less of a story because I feel like we're all focused on the same sneakers. And what I mean by that are basically Yeezys. I find at least on YouTube, and I know YouTube doesn't, it doesn't explain the whole sneaker game in its entirety, but it does a pretty good job at grasping what people are interested in. And a lot of videos that include Yeezy in the title or go over Yeezys or show off your Yeezy collection uh, do pretty well. And there's not, I'm not trying to knock that. I mean, respect to those people and you know everyone doing that kind of thing and on their grind there. But it just shows that people are really interested in seeing Yeezys. But I suppose what I'm getting at is that people are very uh, interested in these very exclusive kicks and there's really only a handful of them that you know, people really want to see. And that kind of changes things because, I mean, I'm still going to collect what I want, but when it comes to YouTube, I can't just put up anything if my goal is to get views and viewership and, you know, keep my subscribers happy. And then when new YouTubers, for instance, or maybe new sneaker collectors like a shoe, but everyone else hates on it, you can kind of feel a little discouraged. I mean, what if you go out and you wear your brand new Team Jordans and you're like, these are dope, and then you just get roasted or people are hating on it, you're like, Damn, like maybe these aren't so dope after all. And that's pretty sad because it's just changed the way people think about shoes and the way we collect and what we consider heat and, and all our tastes and interests are now like amalgamated into one. Like my interests, as example, my interests are the same as your interests and your interests are the same as your friends and you all acquire the same shoes and it's just like, there's no diversity anymore. I mean, in a sense, it's also less about what you like and more about what other people like, what the masses like. I'm gonna go to the senior convention and wear my brand new Yeezys because I know those are hype and everyone's gonna you know, be like, oh damn, those are hot. Even if I have my favorite shoe at home, I'm not gonna wear that because you know people might not consider that as cool. So I've been ranting a lot, but basically collecting shoes doesn't have the same flair and energy that it did before because we are not individuals anymore and the idea of collecting a, a wide variety of shoes isn't as cool. People might want to have like five or six pairs of all Yeezys. And I mean, I don't know, to have them sit on a shelf all day or maybe wear them once over the course of two years. What is that? That's weird. That goes back to the trophy thing that I was explaining before, how we treat sneakers like trophies. We put them in dark closets. To me, that's weird. That's just like, I can't wrap my head around that part too well. But anyway, that's it. Get in the comment box. Let me know what you think about this. Do you agree? Do you disagree? It's okay to disagree. I appreciate the honesty that you guys give me in the comments. Just because we have differing opinions doesn't mean I'm gonna you know, get emotions into it and get upset. So let me know in the comments down below. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. I'm Yudu Heat. Peace.